Welcome back, everybody, to a Command & Conquer Rival Replays request. Done with the Fallen. On to Terror. Now, if you don't know anything about Terror, he was a guy, when I started watching him, in Masters. And now he's actually gotten himself um, not super big into Tiberium, but he's just joined up Terminus. Congratulations, Terror. Your, your hard work paid off. And I really enjoy his videos. I learned a lot from his videos watching them, so I said I would do some of his replays for him. So we have a few today, uh, but we'll start off here with the first one. Uh, Terror versus, <laughs> can't even say that name, Joao Longa, Joao, 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 just going to go to jail. Uh, War War Brazil, there's probably a lot of people that are going to be like, this guy can't even say that name, but uh, for now we'll just move on. Terror is playing Jade, Catalyst Missile, has himself some chemical troopers on the field with the triple infantry, triple um, vehicles, wow, all right, not a tech or air field to be seen in sight. Uh, JL on the other side, though, a little bit more varied, actually running a very expensive four building deck. My goodness. Uh, could actually open up with drones. Has himself some rifles with shocks there as well. Lots of potential openers from him. But Titans at the end of it there. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So let's check it out. Establishing battlefield control. All right, so Terra, as I said, just got himself into Tiberium this season. He will be uh, re forever remembered in Tiberium League as we go into that global release tomorrow. But Nod versus GDI uh, should be a fairly standard opening stuff here from Terra. I'm really curious to see what JLs will open with. Did not go into an airfield, so it's just going to be rifles, and they're just going to scout each other out for now. So if Terra is going to be focusing a little bit more on generating some Tiberium clouds with those chem troopers, might see a bit of a lull as he saves up, because otherwise it's just going to be this rifle spam going back and forth. Level 10s on both sides, fairly even stuff. You know, they're mostly getting there at the same time. But it's now going to be uh, some war factories and vehicles now to come out. Remember, so all Terra has is infantry and war. He's done his buildings. We still have potentially two more buildings to come out here from JL. So he's going to try to opt for some Harvester spam with a pit bull. It could work, just it's not going to in this regard. Uh, he'll get some shots off, but those Nod buggies will easily clean it up. And that second pit bull, if Terra doesn't actually go to stop that, that one might actually start inflicting the damage. But he does have the Nod bikes, and Jail's not really microing it. Like, these are Raider units. You can shoot while moving. He's just opting not to. So that's now going to be the air. The air comes through. Drone spam. Just trying to stop out the timer. More pit bulls. Not going to get much done against the rifles. Conversely, the rifles not going to get much done against the pit bulls. And the bikes really getting some good value. One set of bikes has taken down two pit bulls and now a drone on top of it. But JL just really wants that harvester. So he punches through. He'll finally pick up the harvester. But suspect he's going to give up this first harvester missile. The Tiberium, uh, the Chem Troopers, though, in the bottom corner, not really finding a good counter. So they're just kind of sitting on the point. We're looking at triple yellow here on all the pads. The Pit Bulls should be able to take down those bikes, but not if it gets Cataclyst level. Yeah, Catalyst Missile. Uh, so those bikes will clean up the drones in the bottom corner, which means that JL has to throw somebody down there. But we've also lost that top pad, and now that Chem Trooper in the bottom right will finally die that's going to be the first blue point here we got for jl but he's also the only blue point so we move that over the bikes again just really showing up strong up against these drones the drones are basically just a delay tactic at this point and some good micro in that bottom left good job terror keeps that pit bull from getting on that pad that's going to be the first missile over to him so drone spam should be done shouldn't see any more of it Transitioning now into more uh, uh, these talents coming up. A lot of pit bulls to come through, but Terror goes for a missile on top of the Harvester. He's going to bring it down low, and he actually grabs it with that Scorpion tank because JL did maneuver away from there. So that Scorpion tank living is a pretty big deal for Terror. That's a big boost to his economy, and he's able to defend his own turret. Uh, uh, sorry, his own Harvester on top of things. So Scorpion tank up top. Cleans up the pit bull. These bikes are getting some pretty immense value. Kim Troopers in the bottom left is going to hold down that point. But now we're moving the drones over here from JL. It's looking to contest. There's no counters, at least down there right now. The bikes are not looking for the bottom left. We're actually looking to secure the bottom right. Gets himself the vision. The catalyst missile is good. Bikes now just got to move up. Move up a little bit for Terra. Nope, doesn't get it. 
triple yellow. These Tiberium Troopers in the bottom left are actual just tanks at this point. They don't go down easy to these drones. So we've held these points a long time, but the bike doesn't win the bottom right corner. It's actually the Pitbull now working out and a little bit of micro does stop those bikes from getting on the point, but not before the bikes take down the Pitbull. So a lot of yellow pads. A lot of yellow pads, a lot of drone spam coming out. That Catalyst Missile again cleans up the bottom corner. Pitbulls are just the recipe here from JL, but he does finally get rid of that last bike. So one blue, one red. Drones got to try to move on to that bottom left point. They can't actually make it happen. That is just going to be a suicidal unit in the bottom right. Terra wants that unit space back. We're throwing a tank out there to the bottom corner, but can he make it? There's going to be a, an ion cannon coming through. Oh my goodness. All right, JL evens the odds. Wins out the bottom corner, microed very well. Stored up enough cash, got himself an ion cannon, cleans up three units basically for free right there. The bike's up into the top, just sitting there. They clean up the rest of the drone spam, but the drone spam did its work. JL was able to keep those points. Now we're into a third missile, and this missile charges up decently fast. But we also have, again, been stockpiling cash. We have Titans out, and the Titans are just going for the base. Terror is actually getting hit by the Ion Cannon, has a Titan on his base. The pads are charging red. Oh my goodness, what a value crystal uh, missile right there. We'll keep his base alive. Drone spam coming out. What a waste of a Titan. But two more Titans now are out on the field. One's on the point, one's not. And because the drones in the bottom left didn't hit the pad either, Terror will actually sneak it through. Haven't really seen a good use of the Titans in the higher level decks. Uh, you don't really get to see a lot of tech, believe it or not. At least not in the games that I get requested to do. But that base, that base uh, race right there uh, definitely had Terror sweating for a little bit. Either way, he cleans it up. The Catalyst Missile can take down a Titan. I did not know that. That was uh, very interesting to see. Didn't realize that it could get one shot. I thought Terra was going to lose, but he pulls it through and gets it going. Let's see what game number two has in store.